So welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a very, very quick video, but we're going to talk about the TCL QM8, which is our next TV purchase that we're going to be getting in the month of August. That is right. The TCL QM8 is going to be our next TV that we're going to be getting in next month during the month of August. And there's a lot of excitement with this television. There's actually more excitement than I honestly thought there was. Didn't even know that the TV was capable of playing video games at 240 hertz, only at like 1080p and 1440p. Now, I don't know what the whole like specification is when it comes to that because Tech Steve... Uh, or something on a website, um, uh, ratings actually is what I mean to say. Ratings finally just did their review yesterday, and they put in the description that the TCO QM8 can actually play 240 hertz gaming at 1080p full HD. But Digital Trends, a really, really big YouTube channel that also does TV reviews, has stated that the TV can actually do 1440p at 240 hertz. So, whatever the case is there, no matter what it is, it's still a really, really impressive, like, feature to even think about. Like, just being able, even, like, even if you have to play a game at 720p to get up to 240 frame rate, 240 hertz, that's still really impressive. Literally, so even if it is 1440p or 1080p or even to an extent 720p, that's really impressive. And there's not very many TVs that can actually do that. So this TCL QM8, just by that, is probably going to be our best TV we've ever bought and probably the best TV of the year 2023. But that's not the only thing really good with it. The TV can also go up to right around 3,000 nits of peak brightness, and I've even heard that Digital Trends said that the HDR highlights are really glamorous, like they really pop on this TV, and even from looking at ratings that finally did the review on it just a couple of days ago, that's actually also impressive as well, and so far, like... It has really good blooming control, so you won't get very much blooming. It's just as good as the Hisense U8H and most likely the U8K that we're also going to be getting once we get the TCL one first. The blooming seems really great. It almost seems like close to an OLED levels. The contrast is actually insane. And they're a YouTuber by the tech with KG or whatever you pronounce his YouTube channel name. Uh, did a review comparison between the TCL QM8, the Hisense U8K, and the LG G3. The TCL one was so identical to the LG G3, and that's supposed to be like the best OLED TV released in 2023. So, this is really impressive with what TCL has came a long way. But there's actually some things that even make the TCL QM8 even better. The fact that it has a game bar of a game selection menu that lets you pick at least three different picture presets. I thought there was five, but there's only three. But it is still a new, impressive feature, especially if you are a you are a gamer and you want a TV that has really great picture quality for a low value price that also has gaming features like that. This TCL one, man, has got you covered. We don't even have the TV yet. We're planning on getting it next month. And from all of these reviewers talking about it, yeah, it does seem like it's going to be the best TV for 2023. So sometime next month, probably right around, I want to say, the middle of August. So in just like four weeks from now is probably going to be the time that we're going to get the TCL QM8. But... Wow, the TCL QM8 is like just insanely wow. Like it seems like more exciting than what we originally thought it was going to be. 
and the Hisense U88 was so far our best LCD TV on top of the QN90B series TV, but this TCL seems like it's going to be even a step farther, like straight up. It's got great contrast, great blooming control, awesome local dimming to help keep the contrast looking like OLED levels. Like almost every single review of every little detail about the TV, like the SDR brightness, the response time from ratings.com, everything was perfectly green, whether it would be a 8.0 out of 10 or a nine something out of 10. It was just great. And the input lag is also incredibly low, uh, of around 14 milliseconds, which is still incredibly good. And then right around six something milliseconds at 120 hertz. Now it does go up to 15 from what I've seen on ratings uh, review. It does go up to 15 milliseconds at 144 hertz. They did not, however, tested the 240 hertz. Uh, how the input lag is on for the 240 hertz at like 1080p that they mention, but I'm sure they'll update the review and put that on there probably sometime here after a while once they test it. But I know 240 hertz seems like it's a little bit way too far in the future, but if you are, are a diehard PC gamer and you have a really good graphics card like a 3080, 3090, or even one of the new 4070, 4080s or whatever, you could probably get a select selection of a decent chunk of uh, several different games like Minecraft and probably some other good ones, not like super, super demanding ones, but like ones like Minecraft and such, you could probably get those games to run at 240 hertz or up to 240 hertz at 1080p. So if you're a PC gamer, that's going to be a really, really amazing feature, and that's a really big deal for you PC gamers. But if you are somebody that only has a console such as an Xbox Series X or PlayStation 5, it's not going to be as a big of a deal, but then if you take care of the TV and make sure it runs and lasts as long as it can, in the future, you will definitely be able to get the high refresh rate probably in the next five more years when the next generation of consoles end up launching like the PlayStation 6 and whatever Microsoft calls the next-gen Xbox. But the TCL QM8, man... I cannot believe from watching reviewers like Digital Trends and Tech with KG and such and also looking at ratings review finally that they finally reviewed and updated on their website. This TV seems like it's going to be the best TV of 2023. Value price, wonderful high performance, great picture quality, almost close to OLED levels, high peak brightness to bring you those nice SDR and especially HDR highlights and gaming performance that is really good with a lot new gaming features added to it like a game bar to pick three different picture presets and who knows if they might add more in some future updates. The TCL QM8 is going to probably be the best value TV for 2023 and probably the best budget gaming TV with the high specs that it has. So, yeah, we are definitely going to be getting the TCL QM8 next month in the month of August. Might may even be sooner, but we're more we're going to most likely lean toward the middle of August when we get our first paycheck. So that way, we have basically four paychecks to pay it off in our three month period from progressive leasing because we don't we don't get to buy it. we don't buy them straight out because of progressive leasing really helps us. We get to get the TV and we get three months to pay it off, which is incredibly smart and so great. It's like the best thing ever. So so be prepared for next month's review for the TCL QM8. Now, plans can honestly change, but as it clearly stands, that is set in stone. Like the TCL QM8 is going to be our next big t TV purchase, and we will be getting it in the month of August, and we will be sure to do a full review of it once we get the TV and we mess around with it for about a couple days after we initially get it. But yeah, 
I figured this was just going to be a quick video, so I just wanted to let you guys know the TCL QM8 is our next one on our list, and it will be as early as middle of next month in August. So, I hope you all enjoy this video. Rate if you like this type of content. Subscribe if you are new to this channel, and we will be sure to keep you posted with more gaming and tech videos like this going forward in the future. And also be sure to leave us your thoughts down in the comment section down below if you're somebody that already has this TV and how great is the TCL QM8, whether it be the 65-inch, 75, or 85-inch. So just leave us your thoughts down in the comment section down below if you have this TV for your gaming console or gaming PC and how incredible great the experience is with it. So yeah, just leave us your thoughts down in the comment section of your experience if you already own the TCL QM8 of either of the three sizes. But without further ado, this is Tech and Gaming Reviews. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Rate, comment, subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Peace.